making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 28 wins. 12 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Donetsk, Ukraine, introducing the challenger, Nikita Al Capone. Pilo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of. 26 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 190 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Bo Crusher. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, my fight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can 
finish. present themselves once he is landing that blue ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Nice takedown defense there from Krilov. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Paul Fisher. And still UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Big effort out of him tonight, and he remains the king and the standard upon which all other 205 pounders are. In the glamour division of the company, the 205.